guys so today i'm going to be showing you what you actually need as a beginner there's so many products on the market that uh, you can use there's so many different brands but today i'm going to be showing you what i would do if i was a beginner and what products i would use and uh, what are the tools i would use so i'm going to leave out the brushes completely today i'm going to do with the brushes another day so that you guys can see like what type of brushes one would need and one uh, wouldn't so First thing first, I'm going to talk to you about skin prep. So for a good skin prep, I would use my normal face cream. If I don't want uh, to use my normal body cream as face cream, you can always go in and get a good moisturizer for your face. I don't recommend buying this one, but because I have it, that's why I'm showing it to you. Other than that, I would use my E45 cream. So this is the signature touch of green. I used to recommend it, but now I feel it has like a more type of drying effect during the winter. So... It's just a little bit not for me right now. So this is the Touch of Green Moisturizer with SPF. So it's nice. I'm not saying it's not nice. It's just not hydrating enough. In terms of your serums, I would... There's a few serums that I would actually advise you to buy. One is your Vitamin C Serum. One is... I'm just going to put that aside. Uh, your Hyaluronic Acid. I would definitely... You can get Retinol as well. That's really good. My Retinol my mom has and the rose hip oil oh my god in the morning you look like a goddess if you use this as an at night so the serums that you can eat that you want to get and that i advise you to get is from this and that by sha and if you use my name you get 100 of your purchase so why not boo so uh yeah those are the types of serums there's one more i think it's alpha arbutane that is absolutely good as well. So that mixed with rose hip oil on your face uh, and go to bed. You look pretty, pretty, pretty in the morning. Now, moving on to a good foundation. I like my Revlon foundation. This is a very, very lightweight. It's something that I would use on a regular basis. And it's something that I would use like when I am like basically stuck. So this is a good foundation that I would use. Now, in terms of the price of that, that is 325 rand, but I mean, it's worth the investment. Definitely worth the investment. Moving on to, um, oh, sorry, you guys, I forgot to tell you about this. This is the Prime Serum. So this serum right here is a serum that just binds everything together. I have been working with this for like about one and a half, two months now, and I'm absolutely loving it. This is the Wet n Wild Prime uh, Serum. It's hydrating. It's for hydrating your skin so that's this is when this comes in when my foundation my moisturizer is not that good so these products are like what i would buy if i was a beginner you don't have to have all of them so i'm just putting it out there so you don't have to have excuse me you don't have to have all of them but this is just something that i wish i knew before i started Moving on, oh, you would need a definite, you definitely would need a good primer. So the primer that I would recommend that is absolutely affordable and that has a good long lasting effect is the Rimmel Fix and Protect Primer. This is like, mm, 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 mm. So I really like that primer. Now moving on to a good setting spray. I would recommend that you buy rose water or make your own rose water and just mix two or three, um, well, okay, let's, let's, if you're making a small bottle like this, I would put in a teaspoon of any oil. So when I say any oil, I mean like baby oil, something just to give it some grip that it would hold onto your face. So baby oil, uh, sweet oil, almond oil, anything just to grip onto your face. In terms of mascara, this is a, like my so-called dupe for my MAC stack mascara. This is the Lash Princess. Absolutely amazing. I love it. And it's always on special on Take A Lot. Sometimes Essence themselves even have a special. So go and get this one right here. In terms of a powder, so this powder is something that you can use to powder highlight your face. And powder contour your face. I'm saying powder highlight, powder contour your face. So this powder here needs to be two to three shades lighter than your actual skin tone. So that it blends well with your face. So this is going to be used to highlight these certain areas of your face and give you like that lift on your face in doing so you're obviously going to need a sponge so i recommend this triangle right here you know how good it is just to like set everything in like that and like work with it here and there and everywhere i mean this is really good this is this is 
something that I would wish I knew sooner when I was doing makeup. In terms of uh, getting something to contour your face with an uh, actual product, I would recommend foundation that is two, two to three shades lighter, two to three shades darker than your actual skin tone. So instead of me buying a whole contour kit, what I did was I bought two foundations that were on special and they were lighter and darker than my skin tone. So it makes up for the product. So what happens is when the foundation actually is on your face, this is like almost the same texture, same level of uh, intenseness on your skin. So they all blend in super, super, super well. So this is in terms of affordability. This is what you are going to get. This is just a, a little tip that I wish I knew. Now, in terms of doing your brows, as you can see my brows right here, I like them, that feathery kind of look. So what I will use is get myself a bar soap like this. So you can use anything that is clear, something that is... Oh, I thought it was smelling funny. So you can use something that is clear, most preferably clear, but you can use any other bar soap. It doesn't actually matter. So that everything can just be smooth and seamless actually on your face. Now, what else do we have right here? So here, this is what you're going to use to highlight your face. A highlighter is so important because that's what just gives you that little lift on your face. I don't use it if I'm using a mask, but I wish to be a goddess all the time, so... So you see, it's blinding, baby. Now, in terms of something like, let's say you want an actual concealer, this concealer right here is the Maybelline concealer. Works super well, absolutely affordable. 50 rand for this entire thing on sale. I don't know what's the right price. In terms of getting a powder contour to enhance in your cheekbones, I use the design. I like the design and I like the Passions Pro. Both work absolutely amazingly. And what I like about it is like the coloring, there's very light and there's a very dark. So this comes in really, really, really handy. Moving on to a good blush. A blush that I would recommend is the Essence blush right here. I just broke the top, so that's why it looks like this. <laughs> so oh yeah, while I was busy getting out the things to film content, I accidentally broke this. So this is what I would get. The Essence blush, it's always on sale. And when you're going to look for items that are on sale, especially if you're a beginner, go to Foshini. They have three for two. Sometimes they're a little bit more expensive, but do your research. But I generally go for the three for two. Now, moving on to a good beauty blender. I don't know what is the meaning of a good beauty blender. I buy any beauty blender and I make it work. Like you can see this one here. Can you see it? It's actually damaged, dented and he's been through a lot. So all I do is I just wash it with uh, cold water and then I make everything work and then I rinse him out and he's good to go again. Eyeliner. Eyeliner is something that you cannot leave out. Definitely not leave out. It's, it either makes or breaks a look. So this is the eyeliner that I use. This is the Super Last by Essence. I actually don't recommend this one right here. I recommend that smaller bottle. The blue and black one. That's a small baby one. This one right here, you need too much of control over it. But the eyeliner is essential. In terms of a foundation, it's advisable to get one foundation that is super high coverage and one foundation that is just a little bit uh, less coverage than that. I would also have a foundation in my kit that is a little bit lighter and a little bit darker. That's why it's so advisable to always have that. So... A good foundation coverage is a very, very, very essential. Now, this is a foundation that you can use, like let's say you're going for a function and you don't want too heavy, so you just mix it with a little bit of your normal everyday foundation and it works well. So this for me is a dupe of this. Not exactly a dupe, but like similar to a dupe. It works really, really well. And this one right here is extremely expensive. I think right now it's 785 rand if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, just be wary and be um, on the lookout. So you something else that you're actually going to need is a powder Now this powder is exactly my same skin tone So this powder right here is something that I would use to give myself a little bit more coverage on the powder side of life So let's say my makeup is gone cakey and messy and things like that and I just decide hey, you know what? I'm going monotone a press powder is very 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 good and on the other hand like let's say you don't want everything to be gone But you want your whole face to get matte 
what you're going to use is a translucent powder. This is from Signature. This works just as well as a pressed powder. And um, there are other few things that I would like in my kit, such as a, a lip eyes. I would love to have a lip eyes in my kit just to have to go throughout the day. And in terms of lipsticks, when I say in my kit, I mean in my drawer. In terms of lipstick, there are a few essentials uh, that I would have. Our nudes are very essential that I would have in my kit. I would like as well as a good lip gloss and a nice pink for myself. And I also like the Huda Vixen. I can't find mine right now, but I would also like that in my uh, collection. In terms of having a good pencil for your brows, I would start with the Colors Limited one. It works absolutely ma like magic. And what I like also about it is that it blends well with the brows. So it's just this, this, that, that, and you're good to go. I just want to talk about two palettes before I leave. So in terms of you having palettes, there's no need for you to go and buy every single palette that you actually see. What you can get is the Revolution palette. This one is absolutely lovely. I like this palette right here. It has all the nudes. It even has a black. And then another palette to invest in that has all the colors is a palette called 25. I'm so sorry it's messy, but it's called 25. And it has all your various shades over here that you can mix and match and things like that. So I think I've covered all the aspects all right here. Yeah, you'll need obviously a lip gloss. So invest in a good lip gloss. Mm, I'm just checking if I spoke about all the products. So yeah, I'm sure I did. But if I left out anything, you guys can remind us in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, Bye guys.